I have always drawn, and I think I've always told stories. Ellen Forney has spent a lifetime putting ink to paper. When I was little, I in turns wanted to be an illustrator, a writer, and an actor. And in comics, I get to do all of those things. She's a professional artist, illustrator, and educator. Cartooning is the way she expresses herself, including the part of herself that can be difficult to broach. I was diagnosed shortly before my 30th birthday. Ellen has bipolar disorder. She explored it publicly in her 2012 memoir, Marbles. And now, after years of learning how to live with a mood disorder, she's created a self-help graphic novel. Rock steady, brilliant advice from my bipolar life. There are things that you can do that, that scientifically relax your brain. Just drawing in a thoughtful way is really, really calming. A page on breathing exercises, on alternate nostril breathing specifically. The book includes chapters on coming out, coping, and managing meds. Complicated subjects in an easy to process format. Take her treatment strategy. It has a cute mascot. My mnemonic is Smedmerts. That's been described as an adorable, awkward little snaggletooth monster, which I, th I think kind of gets at a mood disorder maybe. <laughs> For me, having a sense of humor gets me through hard times. Ellen's cartoons have a light touch without making light of sensitive subjects. Even the most delicate matters feel approachable. It seems like so much comes back to you are not alone. And I like to say you have company. While the graphic novel is based on her specific disorder, the takeaway can resonate with anyone feeling uncertainty or anxiety. For maintaining stability in unstable times. Because as it's turned out, it's, it's actually really helpful information and advice and strategies for anyone, really. People wind up feeling really isolated with their uh, pain. And it's also really hard to reach out when you're feeling vulnerable. Taking care of yourself is important. Meaningful advice from an artist drawing on her own life in the hope of changing others. It's very motivating that way. It really makes me feel like it's something really important that I have to offer. Thank you, Kim.